and boy do I have a surprise for you. Welcome back to Rad BMX Builds and on this episode right here behind me the brand new Race Inc. This isn't like all the other ones you've seen this one's going to be way different and I got some custom things that you can buy for your Race Inc to improve it hands down. So I'm not going to keep you waiting on this video we're going to jump right into it. Let's take a look at what we got. Right up front, we got the in the box. I'll open it in a minute. 26 inch race ink bike. Lots of box components. You see some Cook Brothers box, Redline cranks, Cook Brothers headset, more box pieces, the race ink, forks, some bars, sun rims, Rhino Light, the brand new 26 inch box bike. So, you saw kind of the parts and components. I know you want to see the frame. Let's pull this frame out. I'm going to set you up on a tripod. We're going to do a little unboxing and show you something real special. Okay, in here is the brand new 26 inch race ink in bubblegum pink. Let's take it out of the box. And we're going to show you this color up close. Look at that, beautiful. So let's pull this plastic off and get a better look at it. All right, there we go. So you can see, beautiful finish on it. This is the RA26, beautiful welds, loop tail, just a gorgeous bike. Okay, what I want to show you next are the brand new dropout armor. So these are a piece that goes into the rear dropouts on the frame. And I'm going to open them up and show them to you, tell you what they do. So these are machined billet aluminum pieces. One for each dropout. And you will see in a moment when I put them on. But these basically are going to slide in to the rear dropout. So now you can use your 3 8 axles on these dropouts because as you know, the race ink rear dropouts are to accommodate a much larger axle or you need spacers. So instead of the spacers, now they've come up with a machined billet aluminum armor piece to slide in there that are one, protect your frame and two is going to accommodate those old school 3 8 axle wheels that you most commonly find for bikes like this. So I'm going to show you how to put these on and then we'll get into building the bike in a little bit. Okay, like we were talking about, this is what comes with these bikes. This is the spacer that would go on the rear dropout. Comes with two of them, and these would go on there to accommodate those axles uh, that you would buy from almost any place. Uh, they're usually a 3 8 inch. So, to replace those, now we have these. These are beautiful, and we're gonna put those on so you can see what they look like. So uh, you'll understand a little bit once they're on there, the purpose and how easy it will then be to slide on and off those rear wheels. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, there you have it. It's out of the box. It's set up, ready to get assembled. And I just showed you those rear dropout armor and they're really amazing. All you need is a small wrench, take the little screws out, separate them, 
put them on each side of the rear dropout, screw them back together again, and they clamp right up. Do not try to slide them in without taking them apart from the rear because the dropout will not allow that. So you must take the armor, take the four screws out, separate the two halves, put it together on the rear dropout, put the four screws back in, then repeat on the other side. A really easy process, just takes a really small Allen wrench, and you should be able to do it in about five minutes. Okay, good morning, welcome back. It is the next day. I just got back from driving out to my friend's house in Eastvale, California, where he made me some custom race ink decals for this build. So let me show you these decals. He has a Cricut printer and he's able to make these decals and I'm gonna link him down below in this video. Um, he's not gonna make a bunch of custom decals for everybody, however, um, he does make some Zoo's electric bike decals so these came out pretty good and I'm pretty happy with them. So let's go get them on the bike. Welcome back. I'm excited to show you the completed Race Inc. RA26 and Bubblegum Pink. But before I do that, I need to thank Toby and Art over at Race Inc., Cook Brothers, American BMX Company. 
box components for such an amazing opportunity to build such a rad bike. I've taken this bike out on its initial test run and a couple rides since because I gotta be honest with you, this is one of the best riding bikes that I have. I have tons of bikes. I've had hundreds over the last couple years and this bike with its box components and racing frame are one of the best riding bikes that I have and I can't say enough about it. So thank you, you guys. I appreciate the opportunity to build this bike for you and I wanna show this bike off to you guys, the viewers, because this is one rad build. So let's do a slow montage for you. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I did. If you haven't got one of these Racing bikes yet, I strongly suggest you run over to their website at American BMX Company. I think it's abmxc.com. So they have some great bikes, great products, great guys over there, great customer service. They definitely get the Rad BMX builds. Thumb up of approval. Thanks to all of them and thanks to all of you. And one last time, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, Please do so, and that's how we keep these videos coming. So as always, stay rad.